using themes can make your document form look a lot cooler. By default, the theme that is chosen is just plain. If you click on theme, managing pages in your site can be a useful skill to know. Some of the features I'm showing you, you have seen before in other sections possibly, but I'm putting them all together in one so we make sure they're all covered and it's a good review. One way of managing your pages underneath more is if you want to change the page template of a page you've already created. Right now this template is made to be a list template. If I go to more and do page, change page template, I can decide what kind of template. I want it to be a web page, an announcement, a file cabinet, a start page, or remember I made that important documents template. So I'm just going to send it back to a regular web page. You also have the choice to apply the default content from the template. This will overwrite the content that already exists on the page. So if you have any information on your existing page, any content on the page that you're changing the template of, and you don't want that to go away, do not check this box off. But if you have content on the template, like for example, you've created your own template that has content about uh, how to do a book review or for a unit or a student project, and you want that content to appear, you would check off this box. Click change. and it's telling me an error occurred. I'm not sure why. Maybe because what I have on the template. Let's try a file cabinet page. Okay, for some reason it wouldn't do the web page, but it did the file cabinet page, and now my page is a file cabinet page, not a list page. If you decide that you did not want to make that change, that I don't want this book page to be a file cabinet page that I wanted to go back to the page type I had before or if there's any page you make a change to and you want to kind of undo it you can do this go to more and revision history I did show you this before but let's look at it again it will show you the different versions so you kind of have to have an idea of what version you want it to go back to and you can click revert to this version and it says it's reverting and now look, my book page, oh, I guess it actually did go back to a web page, or this might have been the version before I actually made it a list page, I can't remember. So if you want to kind of, it's basically an undo. You go to revision histories, and you have to know which version that you want it to be in order to revert, and you just click on the link, revert to that version, and that's about it. Let's take a look at the different page settings you can have. When I go to page settings, You've got so, show page title, show links to subpages, allow attachments, allow comments, show this page in sidebar, and here's another place where you can change the template as well. So we've seen this all before, but I just wanted to show you it once again. So if you want your people who are editors to allow attachments and comments, this is where you can check it off. If you don't want editors to be able to allow attachments or allow comments, you turn those off. If you don't want the page title, you can get rid of that, and it will get rid of your page title. See, page title gone, great. Let's do a quick review of how you can delete a page. So just say I wanted to delete this page, which was the book page, I could go to more and pick delete the page. Oh, I can't delete my home page. There you go. I can click Manage Site to change my home page or delete my site. Sorry, I forgot I was on my home page. So let's go to another page. Let's go to Book Page, which is not the home page. Good thing to learn, you cannot delete a home page. If I go to More, now I can delete the page. And it'll say, are you sure you want to delete the page? Really? Yes. Let's delete it. And Book Page is going to go away. Now. If you want to recover the page, like, oops, I didn't mean to delete it, you have to go into our favorite menu, More, and then you can basically uh, take a peek under Manage Site, 
and you will see recent site activity. And it'll show you the things that I recently did on the site. A minute ago, I deleted the book page. Well, if I want to get the book page to come back, I can click on this, the book page, and right here it says recover page. So even if you deleted something two days ago, I'll show you it again. You can see all your history under manage site, and this is the whole site, not just the page. Recent site activity, and it tells me everything that I have done. Another useful tool to see your pages is you can view all your pages in the site. And that's under more, and once again, manage site. You see a pattern, I'm sure by now. And then there's a pages link. So what you can see is all the different pages you have in your site. And this is another way of reorganizing your hierarchy. So if you look at this, this is your tree. And this is the site. And these are the parent pages, announcement page, home, homework. And here are the child pages of those pages. Project due, time change, welcome, important documents, book page. And these were the examples, and the reason these appear out here is they're not in part of the navigation. I have not added it. There's another view <clears throat> that just shows you the pages in the list and how many revisions that they've done. So there you go. There's the list format, and there's the hierarchy format. And you can use this to move the hierarchy around. But you do have to change things in your navigation if your automatic navigation is turned off. Do not forget that.